So here's the tricky part. You would think that you're in VTech or you would be doubting, not knowing if you are in VTech or not, even though all the indications say, hey, we just made it into VTech, we transitioned. Now, here's, here's what I'm learning because I'm self-teaching and I'm using ChatGPT. So look at this huge gap for cam command. It's asking for 30 degrees, and that's another problem because the K24A2 doesn't go up to 30 degrees. The intake cam actuator or phaser gear only goes up to 25, and the Type S 2.0 goes up to 50 degrees. So it's asking for 30, which is max. Max, it should be 25, okay? It should be asking for 25 degrees, but it's not getting it. It's getting 22 degrees. You know why it's getting 22 degrees? Because you come here on the high map, you see the 30 degrees cam angle on the high map? That's what it's commanding because it already went into VTEC. VTP and VTS already came on. This is exactly what the transition point is. No, it's over here. It's kind of like it's, it, it engages right at, yeah, 3842. Exactly. Okay. So now check this out. We go to the low cams, the low speed cam. You see these values between 15 and 23. That's why it's targeting 22 because we were still in the low cam table. See, number one is low cam. That's why we're getting that. So pedal to the metal, maxed out. We're only doing 41 miles an hour. We are in third gear. So I basically stomped on it in third gear at just, it was like 20 something hundred RPMs. Look, let me show you. So this is, this is where I decided to stomp on it, right? Look, 2000 RPMs. Look, 2000 RPMs where I decided to stomp on it. And in like a, a third of a second, I'm at full throttle. Now, I'm going to scroll this like this slowly until VTEC comes on and you'll see it here. Grow my dots. Watch. Right there, you see them? Off, on, off, on, off, on. See it? Right there. Look. Right there where it comes on. So VTEC wanted to come on. So it asked, it demanded cam when I stomped on it and it didn't get it. Okay. Like a trip. This is VTEC trying to come on and it kicked off and it tried to come on again and it kicked off. And the whole time I'm under full throttle. The whole time and I'm accelerating and I'm moving along. Boop, boops, like fail, fail, right? And both times. See, it's only asking for 21 because we're not at the peak yet. We just started climbing. Once you get to the top, 30 degrees, it's it's max. And that, that shouldn't even say 30 degrees. It only says 30 degrees because this is the calibration for the 2.0 RSX Type S. Rather than the 2014 K24A2 on the TSX, which is a 2.4 liter. And the intake variable cam gear is only 25 degrees advanced max, not 50. So I have to come here and like change all these things. So now this can't ever go to 30. Neither low cam or high cam, neither one or two can go to 30. They shouldn't go any higher than 25 would be the max. And another problem that I'm looking at. Let me see, yeah, let me come right here. Okay, so I just dumped on it. It's been like about a, like a second. I just dumped on it. It's asking for 29 degrees and it's only getting 23. AFRs aren't bad, 1263, that's pretty good. It's pretty good, okay? Now, I'm not gonna look at the uh, spark angle right now because it's just too much. I'm not, a, I'm not a pro right now. I'm just trying to sort things out. So anyhow, 30, this 30 should be 25. But I feel that that is still incorrect because full advance at just 
at just 22, 2500 RPMs in third gear, full advanced, you're gonna get knock. Okay, you're gonna get something, and I do get knock. I'm gonna come here, go to, if I go to errors, it just shows me mill off, which is my check engine light. So there weren't like no serious malfunctions or nothing broken or, you know, nothing catastrophic. But you come to knock. Where is it right here? It's just above it. We go to knock and we got four knock counts. Now, let me see here. Let me see. Everything's good. Zero. And I have been driving. I have I have other full throttle pulls. I'm going to scan back and show you in this in the same video. And I still don't have knocks, but I got the knocks here. And it could have, but we'll see why. We'll see why we got it here and not on the other ones. So let me see. There's the first knock count right there. That's the first knock count. I'm going to go to cam angles. First knock count. And you see, this is where um, VTEC, let me see, 22, no, VTEC would not engage at uh, 2200 RPMs, not yet. Not yet. But I got a knock there, and it's right at the peak. I just floored it. It's right on flooring it. I'm only doing 23 miles an hour at 2200 RPMs. I can ex you can expect that. Now, 12, do I add fuel? Because a little bit of fuel can take the knock away. And if you add a little bit more fuel after that being too much, then you get a misfire because now you're drawing out the spark plug. So adding a little bit of fuel, I'm at 1290. I could maybe be at 11. Okay, and that might help a little bit. But I still think that full advance in third gear at that low of an RPM, I don't think that should be allowed to do that that should be cleaned up a little bit unless we have compensations because there are like if i'm not flooring it if i'm just well yeah yeah this column isn't this column is okay if they're 25 not 30 but these last ones should be like 20 20 or you know to be safe 20 but the question is, which one's going to give you better performance? Because we want to eliminate the knock without losing performance. So I would say just getting the uh, the degrees correct. But there's also compensations. Um, I know there's compensations that can add fuel to prevent knock. I'm not so educated in all of that. I'm just now getting the grasp of this. But I just wanted to make this video because I'm already at that point where I'm starting to get a hold of this and I know how to navigate through this and I'm starting to understand what things mean and with my general knowledge of mechanics and what I know and being familiar with my car and my engine because I work on it. Now I'm able to get to places and do things. The only thing is <laughs> there are so many maps. You come to this low ignition and you have, you can do um, 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So you'll have six tuning tables to do for low spark, six tuning tables to do for high spark, six tuning tables to do for low fuel, six tuning tables to do for high fuel. And then for cams, it's only one table for each cam because the reason these have six is because there's six different cam profiles zero all the way up to 25 but when you go to the cam itself there isn't different cam profiles within the cam because the camshaft puts the value in it itself so whatever the cam value says all these follow it so there was a trick to where when i'm editing you see here where it says edit all tabs i'm not able to click it now because my ignition's off and whatnot but you click on um edit all tabs and whatever changes you make to any cell even if it's a group of them that you highlight and you want to reduce it let's say by 10 percent because it's too rich or maybe you want to enrich in it because it's lean it'll do it to all six of them so you don't have to 
do it six times yourself repetitively. So that's a little shortcut you can take. Just be sure that you don't have it clicked when you only intend to make changes on one cell on one profile and you don't want to change them on all of them being that you fix something in one area and now something's kicking back in another area and you're not aware that you change the values and you never caught it you'll never find it unless you go to undo if you know how many undos back you got to go to get it but i'm gonna leave off i'm gonna leave off with this tip here and if you guys have any comments or questions or advice let me know because i've had this car for a year and I still can't get VTEC to kick on. VTEC, like I have a LED light in my dash and it just blinks. Like VTEC tries to come on and it just shuts off. If I unplug the VTEC solenoid and I drive my car and I go to engage VTEC, the light turns on and it stays on. So there's a problem. I don't think it's a mechanic malfunction, but I think that mechanically, when it does physically engage, something is off. You know, either the the fuel or the the cam angles there's a there's a five degree advanced difference from low cam to high cam i could go ahead and just try and just copy and match the cam profiles from low to high the same so that there are even less variables i damn near copied the fuel tables from low and put them on high because the high fuel tables were lean compared to low and low was richening out halfway through so i lowered low fuel by 10% and I increased high fuel by 20% and now they're now it's a little bit more blended so I'm gonna leave off with this and I'll catch you guys later